Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to discover how we can ascribe a circle to a triangle. So the circle will go in that area and you can see the triangle right here. It's triangle ABC and I've extended side AC to D and side BC to E. Uh, the steps are pretty straightforward and similar to the last two videos what we're going to do is we're going to bisect the angle so we're going to bisect angle eba and then we will bisect angle dab or you can say bad and then it would be bad as with all of my previous videos where we had to bisect angles I'm going to begin by drawing an arc to cut the angle so one at A and one at point B and the radius for these initial arcs that I used is 30 millimeters but it really doesn't matter it really doesn't matter where the 30 millimeter arc cut the initial angle, I'm going to use those points now to draw two additional arcs, as you see me doing here. And I just increased the radius a bit to 50 millimeters. I'm going to do the same at angle B, A, D. Wonderful. So now you see that the arcs have intersected each other and we are going to draw the bisecting lines. So the bisecting line is from angle or point A to where the two arcs intersect and we're going to do the same at point B to where the two arcs intersect. So we have that and this is a good place to be. What we're going to do now is we're just going to extend our bisecting lines so that they intersect with each other like this as you may have guessed judging from the previous videos where the bisecting lines intersect would be the center of our ascribed circle all right so using a perpendicular distance which is the radius to line a b I was able to draw the circle and I just changed the layer of the circle to the outline layer and this is it. This is how you ascribe a circle to any triangle. This works for all shapes and sizes. I do hope that you learned something from this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already.